All right, class. Put down those car phones. Russell, did you hear me? Put down that cell phone. I said no cell phones. Just a minute, Mrs. Reynolds. I'm texting my uh, tutor. Give me that phone. What? In my day, we didn't have car phones and fly wire and all this gobbledygook. Careful, you'll break it. I'm doing you a favor. You're going to get a better education without one. <gasps> My phone. Dude, she broke it. Anyone else who wants their phone fixed too? No! <laughs> Principal Patterson, can I talk to you? Why sure, Karen. What is it? We got a problem with these kids. Problem? I don't know of any problem. It's these cellular car phones. They spend all their time on it, and they're not getting a good education. What's wrong with that? At Rebel High, we pride ourselves at keeping up with technology. Well, you got to get rid of all these walking, talking phones, or, or else expel all these students and get some new ones. Expel? Yeah, it's either that, or I'm not coming back next fall. What's wrong with Reynolds anyways? I don't know. I guess some people just don't like phones. Russell, you're really into that phone, aren't you? Knock it off. I'm borrowing it from my grandma. Why don't you just get a new one? I'm trying to get a trade-in for my broken one. Attention students! This is Principal Peterson. I have an important announcement to make. Effective immediately, we're banning the use of all cell phones at Rebel High. No phones? Well, looks like you don't need a new phone now. Maybe I need to look for a new school. Hey, honey. How's school? School? Those kids are driving me crazy. They're not still using those little phone thingies, are they? Yes, they are. Even though I keep asking them nicely. Good news. I got the solution. And I just got done. What's that gizmo? This is a cell phone blocker. <laughs> cell phone blocker? Does it work on car phones too? This? This works on all signals. Really? Can I take it to school? Of course! That's why I made it! <sighs> Alright, welcome to today's class. Alright everyone, take out your books because today we're going to discuss the molecular composition of yogurt. we're going to discuss the enzyme protein. What are you doing on the phones? Nothing. I was looking up yogurt chemistry. Uh, I, w I was looking at the summer schedule. Well, I was volunteering for the animal shelter. I was texting my friend. That's it! No more of this car phone nonsense! Here we go! Hello? Do you have a signal? No, nothing. Same here. What's wrong, babies? Are your toys not working anymore? This thing's a piece of junk. Mine too. I don't think it's a phone. I think it's a thing that Mrs. Reynolds has. Is it blocking the cell signals? Yeah, I need to be online. We should use our Chromebooks. Good idea. What's the Wi-Fi password? I don't even see a Wi-Fi network. None here. Me neither. <laughs> Dude, if you don't go to Rebel High, where are you gonna go? 
Well, wherever it is, they have to allow cell phones. Russell, maybe we'll get lucky and Mrs. Reynolds will leave. Leave? What are you talking about? Rumor has it they're getting rid of the cell phones because of her. Yeah, she threatened to quit. Well, I'm definitely getting a new phone now. I wonder if they make one that's unbreakable. Well, I guess we won't find out until fall because summer starts next week. <laughs> now that school's out, what will the kids do for the summer? And will Russell be able to get a new iPhone? I don't see any flights to Minnesota. Minneapolis, it's right there. We're not going to Minneapolis. We're going to Lake Minnetonka. You gotta fly to Minneapolis to get there. That's where we're headed. The only reason we're going there is because they don't have those cellular car phone things. They better not have those things in Minneapolis. They probably have it at all the airports, but they won't have it at the lake. That's why we're going. That's why you're so wonderful. You think of everything. <laughs> I do, don't I? Now go get me a wheelchair. Wheelchair? You're not handicapped. Why do you want a wheelchair? That's how you get VIP service. I read it in Women's Day. Great. Hey, this woman needs a wheelchair. Summer is going to be so much fun. You guys are going to love my grandparents' cabin. I've never gone camping before. <laughs> Neither have I. Really? Well, if you don't include Girl Scouts. <laughs> We're going to have the best time. There's so much to do up there. I bet there is. But isn't it just some lake in the middle of nowhere? Yeah, but they have a boat. We can go water skiing, fishing, scuba. I love water skiing. Oh, you mean like scuba duba? Where are you? <laughs> oh no, we're gonna save ghost stories for the campfire. That and s'mores. Here we are, gate 27. <laughs> no way, look who's here. Small world. It's Russell. Hey Evan. You guys going to Minnesota too? Yeah, we're doing scuba duba. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to my grandpa's cabin. That sounds like so much fun. We're going for the Iron Man competition. Oh, I saw that movie. <laughs> no, it's a competition. Yeah, like running, swimming, biking? Yeah, that's it. We're a team. We should come root for you. Yeah, where is it? Lake Minnetonka. No way! Oh, is that like a mini Tonka toy? <laughs> no, that's where my grandparents' cabin is. There you go. What's that over there? It looks like other passengers to me, Karen. They're not passengers. They're kids from my school. If they're not passengers, why are they at the airport? Well, look at them on their car phones. They better not be flying where we're flying. I don't know, honey, but they don't let car phones on a plane. Well, they didn't take them away at bag check like they did my water. What I meant was that they're not allowed to use them on the plane. Besides, guess what I brought? Oh, I hope it's a sleeping bag so we can camp under the stars. <laughs> Guys, it's Reynolds. <gasps> well, what do we do? Pretend she's not here. Maybe she'll just go on her own way? We're not that lucky. Yeah, maybe she'll break our phones. Yeah, well, we don't want to make her mad. I heard she might quit school. <laughs> well, what's wrong with that? What are you guys talking about? Maybe we should make her mad. If she quits. We don't have to give up our phone. Why is she in a wheelchair? She walks fine at school. I think she's faking. Why would she fake? She probably lied so she could get on the plane first. Oh, well maybe she needs a little payback. Where are you going? Just gonna have a little conversation with the airline. Excuse me, ma'am. Can I ask you a question? Yes, how can I help you? There's a lady over there in a wheelchair. She's faking. Faking? What is she faking? She's faking that she needs a wheelchair. Oh, 
Well, I'm going to have to have a talk with her. My thoughts? Exactly. Excuse me, ma'am. What is it, miss? What exactly do you think you're doing? I'm supposed to board first. That chair is reserved only for passengers requiring assistance. Yes, I know that. How do you think she got it? In accordance with airline policy, I'm going to need to see your doctor's note. Honey, give her the doctor's note. Fine. Fine. Take your buggy back. I thought so. Oh, hey, Brenda. Hi, Chet. I haven't seen you in a while. Are you working the Minneapolis run? Yeah. It's nice to be back on a smaller craft. They're so fun to fly. Yeah, they're great. As long as both bathrooms work. Bathrooms? Is there something wrong with the craft? Yeah, the pump went out on the port side head, so it's out of service right now. Port side head? Are you telling me we only have one bathroom? It's only a two hour flight and we still have one. But we are full. You know what? We'll be fine. Well, in that case, I better get first in line. Totally Airlines, flight 445, with nonstop service to Minneapolis-St. Paul, will begin pre-boarding at gate 27. Ah, uh, window, just like I like. And I got the aisle. That's what I like about these little planes. Nobody wants the middle seat. Yes, we have the whole row. It's practically like flying first class. Now boarding all remaining passengers. Where's Russell sitting? Oh. He's up there. It's you! Why are you on my flight? I'm going to Lake Minnetonka. Lake Minnetonka? That's where we're going. So, Mrs. Reynolds, are you doing like a science camp or something? No, I'm going to get away from car phones and the internet and those kinds of things. But aren't mobile phones and all that, like, science related? All seats and tray tables must be in their upright and locked positions. And all phone and electronics must be in airplane mode at this time. Hey, I'm three rows ahead of you. You won't believe who I'm sitting next to. She said no phones! The plane isn't moving yet. Is that Mrs. Reynolds I hear? What's her problem? If you want to talk to him, he's right over there. You're right. Hey, I'll be there in a second. He seems like a nice boy. He's nothing but trouble. All checks complete. We're clear for takeoff. She's saying no phones. It's like we're still in the classroom. What is her deal anyway? And now she's annoyed about my new phone. Before takeoff, all passengers must be seated. No talking on the phone. I'm not talking, I'm texting. Totally Airlines would like to introduce you to our new roaming mobile card. For the low price of $10, you can have unlimited mobile access for the duration of this flight. Hey guys, they got Wi-Fi on board. Yeah, we heard. It's like 10 bucks. Yeah, but I can do mobile sharing with my phone. That means we can split it. Yeah, it's only like $2 each. Let's do it. You guys can pay me back later. 
Yes, sir. How can I help you? Can I get one of those $10 Wi-Fi cards, please? Mobile access, of course. I'll be right back with your login. Oh, miss! Yes, ma'am. And what can I do for you? Why are you ignoring me? I need something to drink. My, that's unusual. Uh, oh, my husband made that. He's a tinkerer. And can you bring me a bottle of red? Yes, ma'am. Right away. <laughs> I'm so sick of these car phones. My phone stopped working. Me too! What's with the plane? Reynolds turned on that phone blocker thing again. I think it's messing with the avionics. What's that? The thing that flies the plane. Well, I have to go tell somebody. You know that Russell is such a hero. I wish the other boys in school were like him. Brenda, we've lost radio controls. Captain Connors? I can barely hear you. What is going on? That's the point. Something's interfering with our transponders. Well, what do you want me to do? A passenger must be using some sort of radio transmitter in the cabin. Transmitter? Okay, I'll, I'll try to find it, but what, what, do you, what do you want me to look for? Look for something unusual, like some sort of electronics. That gives me an idea. Will do. Mike, she's coming over. Okay, Mr. and Mrs. Reynolds. We know what you're up to. Give me that gizmo. Mike, give me the blocker. Give me that. Quiet. Have you seen my phone? Phone? No. It was right here before I went to sleep. Oh, maybe it fell out the window. The airplane window? Uh, those don't open. <laughs> well, what am I supposed to keep track of your car phone for you? It's not a car phone. Car phone, plane phone, whatever. Russell's phone is missing. What could Mrs. Reynolds have done with it? Captain, bathroom number two is out of order. It's backed up and flooding. No more number two. We can't fly without a bathroom. Well, I hope we get there soon. I'm not sure how much longer these passengers can hold out. I'm gonna have to radio the tower. We need to make an unscheduled bathroom stop. Okay, I, I will make the announcement. You guys, both the bathrooms are broken now. I thought only one of them was broken. Yeah, that's why there's a long line. No, the toilet has backed up and there's water coming out of the door. Passengers, may I have your attention, please? We are unable to resolve the bathroom issue, so we will be making an unscheduled stop in Louisville. Thank you for your understanding. I think I found the problem in the bathroom. What is it, Tom? Somebody flushed this down the toilet. Why would somebody flush a brand new phone on an airplane? Well, it must be somebody who really hates phones. How are we gonna figure out who did it? I think we have our answer. This was in there too. I'm gonna have Brenda see if there's a Karen Reynolds on this flight. Ma'am, it's time for you and your husband to leave the flight. Good, because I need to use the restroom. But we better not be stuck in this little airport for very long. No, I don't think you understand. It's because of you that we had to make this landing in the first place. 
Oh, what do we have to do with all this? We know that it was you that flushed the iPhone in the laboratory. Oh yeah, yeah, his phone. Cause he's always on that car phone. He's always, he's like a part of his body. He, he's on it in the airplane. He's on it in the inside the airport. And he's even on it at school. Are you going to leave on your own? Because the authorities are waiting at the gate for you. <laughs> All right, we're leaving. Come on, Mike. It's not like me to make a scene. Karen took a vacation to get away from cell phones and students, but it looks like her summer plans have been flushed down the drain.